nothing much has changed actually since we had the baby. My mom was actually telling me, oh, you know, just give the dog away lah. Uh, you're so busy with the baby already. And, and so I told my mom, I said, okay, so when I have a second kid, I give the first kid away lah. <laughs> Is that how it's gonna be? Because I mean, Kiki was with us from the start already. Mm. You, you can't just give her away like that. Kiki is still part of our family. She still sleeps with us at night. Even the baby doesn't share the bed with us. The dog shares the bed with us. I guess for us, the choice was very clear la, to adopt because there are so many dogs out there that are waiting to be adopted. The industry of uh, selling puppies is really a dirty industry. It's, it just shouldn't be allowed, or at least not in those conditions. In other words, a dog is not a thing, you know, you don't buy it. You can't buy a dog, it just doesn't happen. The volunteers from the ASD were very helpful. They say, hey, you know, you can try this, you can do that. Because Kiki can be quite a difficult case. Lah. So they pair you with a dog for a minimum of two to three weeks, so that you can see if the dog likes you and if you like the dog. And this is a, a great way to see if there is chemistry uh, or not. Well, it was a two-week trial, um, but because we weren't sure after two weeks, we actually extended to two months. And uh, at the end of two months, she started warming up to me. And by then we were like, okay, she's warmed up to me. There's no way we're giving her up now. Mm. We let her in the in, in the house while we go out for work. We didn't think we would have she would have a lot of uh, separation anxiety. But when we came back, the house was just like a huge mess. We had to replace all the charging cables, all the speaker wires, and everything. So we very quickly decided to vacate one whole bedroom for her, and anything in that room she can bite. Uh, she didn't buy anything but the door. When we moved to our new place here, we decided to aluminium plate the door. We thought this would make her stop, uh, you know, trying to exit at all costs. And in fact, it just made her even more uh, stressed. She managed to bite it off and tear it off. And we even found some blood one day and we said, okay, no, we need, we need to do something now, now, now. ASD pushes you, almost forces you to have dog training. That was really eye-opening uh, for me because they explain you the mentality of a dog. Even up to now, like, she's, she's very skittish, uh, very scared, very wary of strangers. But I think in the last year, she has become a lot more relaxed. She, she's starting to accept us as family. She's accepting the new baby as well. She's very friendly, but outside, or when there is strangers, you always look at every corner. She's got this perpetual sad look on her face. But actually, she's very happy. <laughs> oh, you, you can't choose your family members. So. <laughs> you can't choose your family members. And now that we, we, we have a dog and she's part of our family, like, why would we say, eh, hey, uh, the one already?